Hello world, you're watching Arduino for Beginners. Turn on and off a LED with a button part 2. Today I will I will make the same project, turn on and off a LED, but I will replace the if statement for another variable, another statement that does the same action. But it's a new statement, uh, a one that I saw in the book and I wanted to explain you. Here we have the code for the second project for turn on and off a LED. Uh, what I what I made is use the let state function uh, outside the loop, so the loop is composed now just by this line digital write let pin and instead of writing high or low, use the function that returns the um, the value the state of the let and how I change the state of the let. So now it's written here. Let state equals two and now comes a new thing. This is another way to, to write the if statement. Here is the condition and if the condition is true then we write here what we want to do if it's true and if it's not true we write it here. So if button state if uh, the button is pressed digital red button pin if button is state is height is it is pressed height let the state equals to height but if the button state is not high is low let the state is low and we return we return at the state so if the button is pressed let the state is height so let pin height if, it, if the button is pressed, the link is the LED is on. But if the button if if not, is not is not pressed, let state equals to low because button state equals to low. This is, this is all all for today. But I will show you now the that the this sketch. Is, is the same as the other, does the same work. As the previous project, I have here the bottom and the lead, and although I have changed a little bit the sketch and replaced the if statement for another statement, you will see that it works exactly the same way. This is all, thank you.